Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do the Lachneroki Shrine. Uh, there are three side quests that are prerequisite to actually unlocking the Shrine quest. And for spoilers reasons and just to make the video shorter, I'm not going to actually go through those uh, quests myself. But I'll give you a little bit of a rundown. And I'll also put the, uh, the exact names of the quests in the description below. If you guys want to look up more uh, detailed tutorials on how to do them. But um, I'll let you guys know the, the gist of what you're going to do on each quest and where to start all the quests. Now, um, the first quest you're going to want to do is find the uh, fairy fountain, which you've probably done that already. There's a pretty good chance, unless you're just now starting the game, that you've already done it. Uh, where you're going to start, though, is right in front of the praying statue. You're going to want to talk to Pekango right here. You talk to him and you're gonna run up that hill just past that shrine and you're uh, gonna go into the forest and as you see so you're gonna be running up this hill there's a shrine and then you're gonna run to the forest and then up and to the left a little bit is where the great fairy fountain is you're gonna take a picture of that and then you'll be done with that shrine uh, quest and then the next quest you're gonna want to do is uh flown by the coop which you talk to kato which is this uh no not this guy kato is normally standing right here at night but over here during the day he will be right here and you talk to him and you just have to find all of his chickens uh the one tip i will give you is there is a chicken on the roof i believe he's on that roof but i'm not positive but definitely get on all the roofs just to get a, a high ground advantage to see everything well and to find the chicken that is on the roof. And then there's also a chicken up on top of that hill as well, just to um, point out the two more difficult ones to find. All the other ones should be pretty easy to find. And the third side quest that you need to finish, uh, and by the way, you have to do those two quests first. It is absolutely necessary to do those two quests before you unlock the third quest, which is buy Firefly's Light. And what you're going to want to do is go talk to Lasley. And she's in her house anytime past 10 p.m. And her house is right over here. I'll go ahead and look at the map and show you exactly where it's at. Uh, can't zoom in anymore, anymore but you, I'm sure you get it. Uh, you go into this house. You talk to Lasley. She's sitting right here. And she'll initiate the quest to catch fireflies. Now, there is an armor set inside of Kakariko Village at the armor shop, which is pretty close to where I'm at. It gives you a sneaking ability, which makes it easier to, you know, just sneak up on stuff. And it makes it a hell of a lot easier to actually catch all these fireflies. Now, it's not necessary that you do it, but I did it just because it made it a lot more simple. Uh, I think there's also sneak food that you can eat and uh, elixirs as well, but I bought the armor anyways. But they're they're not the easiest to actually get uh, without the sneaky food, but I'm sure you'll manage if you're uh, dedicated. And then after you catch all those, the last step to unlocking the shrine quest is you're going to want to go back down to the center of town. And you're going to want to go up the house with the big stairs. I'm going to talk to this person over here. Uh, Paya, Paya, whatever her name is. Now, this is the part where there's a cutscene, which would be a huge spoiler. That's why I don't want to uh, spoil everything for you guys. Uh, you talk to her, she'll initiate a side quest. And you're basically going to follow a guy. Um, I believe it's at midnight, exactly. See, he's walking right now. I think you have to stay behind him at a distance uh, most of the time to actually make your way all the way up here. You have to sneakily follow him. And you're going to go all the way up here, all the way to where the shrine is. I'm sure you guys have found the shrine location. I'm sure you've seen that little orange circle and couldn't find the ball. And we're just wondering, you know how the heck you got it to pop up or how you found the ball or whatever. But after you sneak behind him, you follow him all the way through here and then it'll start another cutscene, and an enemy will appear. 
at that point I would actually I would recommend saving before you actually catch up to him because this enemy is pretty powerful it may auto save for you but I would save before you get here for sure just for safe measure uh, you might even uh, make sure you have some defensive food maybe some defensive elixir but you'll find him right here and on, I'll show you directly where it's at on the map basically halfway between the water and the east wall and uh, after you kill that enemy the shrine will appear and I think that's it and uh, you have to follow the guy at a very specific time I'll look here and see um, You follow him past 10 o'clock. So he starts he starts walking from that house at 10 o'clock. And it's also important to note that the fireflies only show up at night. And you cannot catch them in the rain. But that's about it. Uh, hope you guys have fun. Happy hunting.